does it have a different feel this go around against North Dakota State than it did in the spring 2021 against San Diego State? Um, I think an obvious way to put it is yes, it's a different feel because at the time COVID was just a huge roadblock in uh, a lot of ways. Um, it was different. Uh, everything in that spring season was tougher, I feel like, just in terms of we didn't know if we were going to be able to play that week or not based on the, the results of those tests. So um, it's different in that way. It's a lot more normal feel this time around, I think. And um, I believe this team um, has taken so many steps in the right direction. We're a lot closer. Our belief is through the roof right now. So. Uh, we're excited for this opportunity, and we're really happy to be here. In the receiving core, you guys, you started out the season against I mean, a top five defense in the entire country in yeah. Iowa. That was a grueling game for you guys. You realized you could compete at that point. In each and every week since then, you guys have been able to really hang big numbers on opponents. And in practice, you go up against what you guys would say, I would assume, the best defense in the country. How has practice against the, that top secondary in the FCS level been able to help benefit both you? You, your brother, and the entire really receiving core, maybe even Mark Ronowski, your quarterback, yeah. and, and being able to be successful week in and week out. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of credit goes to our defense and our defensive coordinators. They're playing lights out, and they have really been playing at a very, very high level all year, and uh, that's very cool to see. And they've lifted us up on offense, obviously going against them and practice every day and fall camp, um, and it only can make us better. And we're very fortunate to have dudes on both sides of the ball. Um, we're a very complete team, I feel like, and, um, you know, we're very fortunate to uh, have just the, you know, there's a lot of competition uh, amongst our team, but we all love each other. And I feel like that's uh, a testament to Sig and what he's been able to do here. And yeah, like I said before, we're very excited for the opportunity. And you know, you can't beat it playing in Frisco. So, what can you take away from that early season matchup against NDSU? NDSU's had some big injuries on that offensive line, the running back. Um, so it's kind of a little bit of a, almost a different team than it was three months ago. What can you take from that game that you can apply to this game to help you guys execute it and try and come up with a victory? Uh, I have no comment uh, on that question. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean specifics, mm -hmm. obviously. Yeah. But I mean, can you can you take away what you, you know from, you, from that game, what you did well, and really mm -hmm. say you know we did this well and we think sure. this can work again? Yeah. Um, you know, obviously going to the Fargo Dome, that environment's very hectic, and I will say that we probably didn't handle it um, early on in the game like we had wanted to, uh, with the false start penalties and uh, just kind of shooting ourselves in the, our own feet. Um, but I think something to take away from that uh, that matchup is to just kind of relax and get your nerves under control early on, so you can avoid those penalties. And then, you know, from the from the first quarter or first whistle even, and then on, it's just football. Yeah. Uh, we got to relax and just play the game that we've been playing for a lot of years. How does having a twin brother on this team? push you to be better. I mean, you've got a guy, obviously, it's hard to tell you apart. You yeah. know, the parents probably to like which one's which, mm -hmm. but how does having him on this team, how does that push you to make you a better yeah. team? Um, throughout my entire life, he's been the most influential person, uh, person next to me. Um, he's been in my corner, and I've been in his corner. We have each other's back. And no matter what it was, football, basketball, track, in the classroom, it was always a competition. Uh, you look so much like the other. You have a lot of the same interests. You know, how can I kind of put myself ahead of him? And it was a daily grind of just competition. Um, but in the long run, it obviously made us both better, and we've benefited a lot from that competition. And I think um, we're very fortunate. Uh, our parents are awesome to have to deal with us. Um, but yeah, we've got a great family, great environment around us, great support system, and we couldn't be happier with how our lives have turned out thus far. If you look at Sunday at 1 o'clock, uh, ABC National Championship game is here now. What would it mean to both you and then also the South Dakota State program to be able to, about 4 o'clock on the north side of that end zone, be able to play some national championship? Yeah. So, I mean, obviously spring season when we were here, we didn't get that feeling. We got the worst ceiling imaginable, which was defeat. Um, I believe that we've taken that uh, and used it to fuel uh, fuel our fire. Every day we've been working harder and harder just to get back here, and now we're here. Um, we can't take this opportunity for granted. And 
you know, being able to finally say that South Dakota State has uh, landed on the top of the totem pole at the end of the season, you know. I can't imagine what it's going to feel like, but I'll let you know after the game. You know, last thing I have for you, I know your brother's listening. Uh, we know his answer, but who's, who's the better twin at football? The better twin at football? Oh, you know, you got to ask the audience, I think. It's hard to ask us, but... You can look at stats, you can look at this and that, um, but I don't know. I think we're both pretty dang good, so that's what I'll leave it at. That's a politically correct answer right there.